wonderful Capricorns. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot coming with your weekly reading for the 16th to the 22nd of August. Sorry for my absence. I've had some uh, life changes, not negative, some uh, positive changes. Um, and then I hurt my shoulder and I haven't been feeling well, but I am back. And so here I am. Remember to like, share, hit the smash like button, thumbs up and all that jazz uh and i really would appreciate it if you can leave me a comment i love to interact with people i also go live with free readings um and just remember that this is for all capricorn sun moon rising so take whatever resonates and leave behind what doesn't teachability gestation period wow this is a this is not only a teachability moment this is a learning moment for you um just gestation meaning that you are cooking something up at this time um i i i see the teachability there but i don't think you're teaching anything i think you need to learn something and maybe learn something and and share the knowledge with someone else someone else who's close to you um yeah i'm just getting some information from my spirit guides here i think um yeah you're gonna see someone who's going to be walking in a, a similar footstep uh, that you're walking in now you're not walking down the correct path yourself but you're gonna like set the example like i need i'm still learning and don't do what I do um, because I'm still on my journey type of teachable moment, but they're giving me that you haven't learned everything you need to learn. There's something that you're working on that you need to learn more about here with this gestation. It could be that you're just just stating your, your um, spirituality. And then some of you are just stating people because I was gonna say people, you're, you know right so specifically they want to talk about someone who's having fertility issues um and and that's very specific so this could be just the one person who needs to hear this um there's some things you need to learn about um your fertility issues um there's some things you need to learn about your your phallus or your womb your sexual organs there is something that there is something that can be repaired or fixed right so if that's for you please please drop me a comment but yeah that's what I'm getting so that was very specific but for many of you you are you need to learn about whatever idea you're gestating let's get into this tarot card here do six cards what's happening in our subconscious mind what's happening now in reality in our conscious position and some advice slash outcome um, in our last column the king of swords in our subconscious position you have temperance right so balance needed You can't teach if you don't have the balance. You need to learn about yourself, your emotions. Uh, maybe that's what people are just dating here, which makes sense because of the colors here. You have hermit in your advice slash outcome position. You have the tower moment. Clarifying that king of swords, you have, here we are. This, this, this makes perfect sense. You have the Nine of Swords clarifying that Temperance. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles clarifying that Hermit card. Um, you have the world at the end. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. I think for many of you, you know, and I wanna get back to the specific of fertility for, for whoever's listening to this. With this King of Swords and that Tower moment, it's an issue in your relationship that's hard. Um, fertility is very, 
fragile in, re in, in relationships and actually breaks relationships up relationships up relationships up i i am getting very stressed out reading this so this is definitely something specific for someone right you cannot have a child if your body is stressed and that's something as, as specifically as humans we need to know if you're male or female your phallus is not going to work correctly your womb is not going to work correctly if you have a lot of stress on you and maybe that's something you need to learn about yourself i'm also getting diabetes so there's some diet issues for some of you here and i feel like it's just causing a lot of emotional confusion uh but for all capricorns here there is a tower moment um and it's with this king of swords so this is what is on your mind it's, this could be a male or female you're having issues in your relationship at this time um and you you just don't see how things can work out this is again remember when i said in the beginning a teachability and learning uh component to this i think that if you set the example um maybe if you go get therapy or if you make some healthy changes in your life that is something that is learned by you and you set the example so it's teachable to someone else it's also something that is weighing heavily on your mind that gestation um, that was coming through here in the conscious position you're trying to find the balance but you just don't know how to because you are plagued with your own anxieties and your own emotion um, that rainbows here he is illuminated in his crown chakra here even in the tower that lightning bolt that is spirit right that is spirit tearing down what needs to be torn down because it cannot your relationship whatever relationship cannot survive on a foundation that's not built to withstand the storm right so again this temperance card is talking about an emotional balance it's talking about your own emotion and in relationships as well this is your anxiety card but again spirit is with you at this time um especially at this time where we're going through difficulty you know the divine god whatever you call it sends in help sends in re reinforcements but you have to recognize the signs and symbols and trust is a big factor here along with faith um but you know this is a hard time for you this is a very difficult time for you um lots of struggle in your relationship a lot of mental struggle mental cruelty i feel like people are seeing things um in such a negative way that it's making you feel bad about yourself at this time capricorn you need to learn about yourself you need to learn about what makes you happy what brings you happiness what brings you balance um because then you can come into success now if you were reading this this if you're working on a business you're going to reap what you sow um so that means taking a look at something different these basically mean hermit right i love that these two cards are there well hermit and hangman you're going within and you're trying to figure out how to balance things out you're looking at what you've tried to accomplish and trying to look at it from a different perspective but again finding the answers from within um there's no other way to say this capricorn you really need to work on yourself um and that's the teachable moment you're gonna have to set the example if you so choose because it's hard to be the heavy here but for many of you who are having issues in your marriages in any re significant relationship you're gonna have to set the example for someone else um and that's okay sometimes that's okay if it it's to not if it's not to your detriment but this isn't right because this is telling you if you heal yourself someone else is going to wake up um the burden comes from trying to heal someone else without healing yourself so take care of your your home yourself your mind body and spirit 
and someone else will have their aha moment. Let's see here. Right, here's the devil card. So lots of choices, emotional choices at this time. Um, and you just have to bear down, find your center to make a lot of decisions, right? Whether that's to be in a relationship, go to fertility um, clinic or hospital, but make sure that you're not letting this, which is your anxiety, this devil is you. This devil is your anxiety. This devil is your soft doubt. This devil is alcohol abuse, you know, drug abuse. That is your devil. So that's what's, this is a warning, right? Make sure that you're not feeding that monster. Hearing your outcome and advice, things are gonna work out when you take time to heal yourself look at things from a different perspective, and then you will have a choice, right? Whether to stay or go or, you know, work things out. But that star illuminated by that moon is saying that we're guiding you. We're guiding you to uh, the right answer, the answer you seek. Again, you have the world card, which means that it's a, a, a cycle of completion. Um, the world card is a good omen literally the world is opening up to you at this time luck is on your side be careful with what i said it's only a burden and i like that i use that word without seeing this it's only a burden if you don't heal yourself if you try to heal someone else that's taking on someone else's burdens onto your back and you don't need that at this time make sure um Again, just make sure you take care of you. Let's draw you a final card. It's right away. Creativity, finding your happiness. Also, you see that the two faces there, make sure the outside matches the inside because there's a little bit of facade here. Here you have Mercury Mer Mercury in retrograde, which means reinvention, looking at things a different way, reinventing yourself. One more. Here you have the I believe card. You need to have faith in yourself. That can translate into faith in others, faith in God. But you need to start at home first. And that is your reading Capricorn. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot.